has had a torrid time at this year's Tokyo Olympics, at least in the field and track events. Medal hopefuls Akani Simbin and Wade Fani Kjark were underwhelming, to say the least, but they did, again I say, give it all they could. Simbin failed to deliver in the 100-meter final, while Fani Kjark crashed out in the semifinals of the 400 meters earlier on today. Now, joining us on Zoom is Athletic South Africa's Deputy President, Shireen Noble. A very good afternoon to you, Shireen, and thank you so much for your time. Disappointment for South Africans, but I mean, it cannot be said that Wade did not try, considering that he's battling an injury that he picked up in 2017, and that Agani was, I think, maybe just beaten by the best people on the day. Yes, thank you, Morena, and thank you for having me. Good evening, and allow me first to uh, say congratulations to the two women, a uh, medalist uh, Tatiana Schumacher and, and Bianca. Uh, Beitendag. Bianca is actually my hometown girl. So, um, but be, uh, I'm very, very proud of them, uh, South African women uh, meddling at the Olympics. Uh, yes, indeed, it's a very sad day. It's a sad, so far, it, I can't say it's disappointing because Wade do have an injury, and I think the, the injury, um, he struggled with the injury for, for, since 2017, mm -hmm. and that is the reason, I think that is the reason why he's still struggling. Uh, Akani, uh, coming fourth, um, now he's fourth, the ranking fourth in the, in the world, that, that is a good place, but I think very disappointing for him because he didn't expect, uh, 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 he expected a, a medal uh, 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 during the uh, of during the, this time, but it's very hard for athletics. So we, we maybe something is coming our way, but we had, uh, are looking forward. We can only but hope, Shireen, that something is coming our way. But unlike the United States, unlike China, unlike the Russian Olympic Committee, unlike the, some of the uh, first world countries who essentially got back to, to, to normal life a lot earlier than we did, it, 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 cannot, it can't be said that um, we had enough preparation going into these Olympics because some of our athletes had only started literally just months before uh, the Games themselves began. Definitely, definitely, yes. The COVID um, do, uh, do have a great uh, or had a great impact on our athletes and the only opportunities they had to, is to go overseas and run there and most of them, they qualified there. And that is very sad. Uh, we're looking now at, at 2024, uh, the next Olympics in Paris. So maybe, yes, uh, things will change and they will, will get the best um, coaching at, uh, uh, during or preparation uh, from now until 2024. But it's very, it's actually, it's, it's, a, it's sad for, for us, yeah. but I, 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 do, I do know that they, um, they, 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 they gave their best. There seems to be a lot of positivity and hope coming from you um, as the Athletics South Africa Vice President, Shireen. So I want to throw this question to you. This is our last one before I let you go, is to say, are we going to be seeing women coming through in the track and field? Because there's a lot of hope on the men in, in Team South Africa, but very little that's being said about the women. Sprinters, uh, long-distance runners like Casta Semenya, will, be, will we be seeing uh, more of them coming through ahead of the Paris Games? Yes, you know, um, uh, Morena, uh, we, uh, the under-20 uh, world champs uh, is also on its way in Kenya, 17 to 22 of August. So um, they, we do have a few, actually, there's three athletes that go, that's going there. Uh, if we do look at the, um, maybe they are going to camps and, and look at the, the program, coaching program and so forth. So maybe we can, we, we, we can get one or two to go to the 2024 Olympics. Yeah. But at this stage, it's, it's very hard work. And I think we have to go back to basics and, 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 and look and go and have a look at our house schools, how our athletes are performing there yeah. and, and, and pick them up. So um, that is very important for athletics South Africa at this stage. Yeah. But uh, the, 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 the coming of uh, or the next event at the Olympics, the only I, I, I do I still have hope in Stephen McCorker, yeah. the, the marathon runner, and, uh, and Precious, mm -hmm. uh, Machele, the 5,000 5, meter runner. So maybe we, we do hope, I, I still have hope, that yeah. we will medal at least if it's a bronze 
we will be happy for that. But I will I will echo the words of my president James Malloy. Yeah. When when they send him off uh, the, the Tuesday, he said, "Just do your best." Mm. And I and and I believe that they did. They did that, it. That's all we can ask for, and that's all we can hope that the rest of the athletes who are still to come will give their best and hopefully get that medal. Shireen, we leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us here on ENCA tonight. That, of course, is Athletics South Africa's Vice President Shireen Noble. And on that.